With the car being turned over, most of the members of the team are unconscious. Hyun is the first to wake up and witnesses a giant monster coming their way. He tries to electrocute it by sticking his weapon into its leg, but the monster shoves him away and throws a large piece of concrete at him, which Hyun evades at the last minute. The monster charges at him, but this time, Old Man On has gotten out of the vehicle and burns the giant's back, distracting it momentarily. The monster recovers soon, and it is about to punch Ann hard, but Seo returns to Green Home and she runs over the monster with a firefighting truck. The monster turns the truck over, but Seo gets another truck, runs over the monster again and pushes it over the construction and some floors below on the concrete. The monster gets spiked through its gut, and Seo finishes it off by pushing a burning truck on top of it. Inside the Green Home, Yun says the team failed, and since he intends to operate on Yoon, he warns her that he has no anesthetic available and she is going to feel everything. Furthermore, he proclaims that there is no guarantee that the surgery will be successful, and even if it is, Yoon will still be in danger of being infected. Seo comes up with a useful idea, and she connects the firefighter's truck's water pump to the building's water supply, so if they need any water, they can draw from the truck's tank. As soon as she is done, Yoon approaches her and tells her how she is pregnant, and she shouldn't have kept it a secret. Seo says that he can lock her away if he wants, but Yoon replies he never did what he wanted only what was necessary, finishing by saying that he has to be careful and that Seo is a ticking bomb. Right next, Seo gets fixated on Hyun and she watches him while he sleeps. She remembers a phrase that the military squad told her, which was that most of the infected don't make it past 15 days. Seo walks into the room and she grabs Hyun's hand, making a small cut on it and watching it heal up fast. Seo asks him if he ever talked with his dark side and how he managed to stay human. Hyun replies his dark side indeed spoke many times to him, but he remained a human because he wanted to live. Seo sits down and her face betrays she is an emotional wreck because her own husband didn't manage to do what Hyun did. She tells Hyun that the military had caught some of the infected people and they did experiments on them, but none of them made it past 15 days. Finally, she tells him that she wanted to live as well and that is why she had to give the military squad something, which made her tell them about Hyun. The tenants are having some peaceful moments and they are enjoying a meal together, until Miss Sion walks in and tells them she is suffering the symptoms of the virus and that she is afraid she is going to hurt them, hence suggesting to get out of the building. Some of the tenants say that she might be able to fight the virus just like Hyun is doing, and they suggest they reach a decision via a vote. The tenants vote for Sion to stay in the building but in isolation, and now that she could put herself in Yun's shoes, she pays him a visit and apologizes for being distant and not helping him go through this tough situation he has to face. Later on, Hyun gets another visit, but this time from Lee, who tells him he has that face he makes when someone has been annoying him. Hyun says everything is fine, but Lee wants to show him an improvised sign language which he can use to tell people off when they are annoying him. She tries to show him, and eventually she hooks her pinky finger to his and tells him he has just made a promise. Hyun asks her about what, but Lee says he doesn't need to know, only to keep in mind that he made a promise to her. Hyun interrupts them and comments that he must be Lee's first love, and Lee gets up irritated and walks away. In the meantime, a soldier breaks into the building and gets to Seo, who immediately knocks him out. She takes the soldier to the others and tells him he is a deserter. However, they have to confine him because he starts behaving strangely. Seo hears some other soldiers calling him on his radio and then gunshots are fired, which makes Seo tell the rest to cut the SOS banner down. Sang and Hyun, who has given himself a new haircut, cut the banner down but on their way back to the bottom floor, they see the guard, who is now transformed into a monster, using the elevator and heading downstairs. Sang gets attacked by another monster and Hyun jumps to the bottom floor, which results in his bone breaking. The guard has made it to the bottom floor and Jung has already grabbed his sword to fight the monster. While fighting, the guard chops Jung's arm off with his lawnmower. Jung grabs what's remained of his sword with his other hand and stabs the monster in its heart, dragging it in the elevator and sacrificing himself by asking the tenants to burn him in the monster. Moments later, the tenants bury Jung and Yoon remembers having a conversation with him just before he left to fight the monster, where he told Yoon that he likes her. Yoon wants to get some space alone and she starts crying for Jung's loss. Lee joins her but Yoon tells her to stay away from her because she admits bad luck. All the people around her die. Lee tells her she is not alone and narrates her family's story. She says that her parents died because she insisted to go to the theater and that made Yoon drop out of college and get a job to help her continue practicing ballet. Therefore, Yoon is the only one who is pathetic in this room. Lee gives her Jung's sword and tells her to not lose herself in misery because things are already too bad. 
More trouble is yet to come when a military vehicle approaches the building and breaks the entrance down. However, instead of soldiers, the vehicle is full of armed gangsters, which means that the soldier we saw previously was not a deserter, but he run to escape when his team got attacked by these thugs. The leader, Shin, kills the soldier and orders his men to gather everyone in the hallway. His men get their hands on most of the tenants, but not all of them. One of the men draws a circle on the ground and tells the tenants that this is the limit they can move in. A female tenant steps just outside and Shin kills her right away. He says that she is not going to be the only one if they don't obey his orders. To the contrary, if they listen to him, everything is going to be fine. Yun asks Shin to prove that everything is going to be fine by telling them where he came from. Shin says they came from a church they found some time ago. It was heavily barricaded, but when they got in, they saw all the people were dead. However, there were no monsters inside the church, which meant the people had killed each other. Shin concludes by saying that the monsters are one thing, but humans are worse than monsters. When Yun sits down, Yuri tells him that he should not challenge them, but Yun says that was exactly what he had to do. Later on, Shin takes a look at some designs and he asks who did them, which results in Yun getting up and saying he did them. Shin says he also heard someone performed a surgery, and Yun says he was the one who did it as well. Shin says that everybody in this building is useless, and the building itself is in a bad condition, but Yun helped them survive. He invites Yun to join his team or else he will kill him, which makes Yun momentarily join him. One of Shin's men say that they found the monster and they take him to the room where Sion is confined. Shin shoots her because he thinks she is going to transform into a monster, and they walk back to the hallway. Seo creates a diversion and a fighting sequence starts where the tenants fight to regain control, while at the same time Miss Sion has transformed into a monster and joins the hallway. She first kills one of the bad guys and then intends to kill Yun, but Hyun gets in the middle and she stabs him with her monster hand while he knocks her out slowly. One of the bad guys says that Hyun is going to get up again, and Shin says they have to finish him, dragging him to the elevator. They take Hyun on the roof and Shin wonders what he has to do to eliminate Hyun for good. His main ideas are to drop him from the roof, to chop his head off, or to extract his guts from his body. While they walk, Yun gets up and he walks away, which makes Shin comment that he is struggling to survive and shoot him. However, Hyun doesn't want to escape and he crawls to the terrace's door and closes it. Hyun says he is not going to let them go back down and Shin turns his gun at Hyun, but one of his men grabs him by the throat and drops his from the terrace, proving that he is someone who can control his dark side like Hyun. He has a short talk with Hyun while a chopper releases some leaflets from the sky. The leaflets state that civilians need to report any incidences of special cases, such as this man and Hyun, and if they do, they will be transported to safe military bases. While descending with the elevator, Hyun says there are monsters who don't kill people, and the man asks him if there are people who don't kill monsters, wondering what he thinks his people are going to do when they read the leaflet. When the elevator doors open, the tenants point their guns at Hyun and the mutant, but Hyun tells them to lower them down because this mutant saved him. Hyun and the mutant have a private chat and the latter remarks that he offered himself for experimentation, but whatever they did to him couldn't take the virus out. He continues by saying that they are not really sick, but they are evolving while humankind didn't make it through natural selection, and that is why the situation is happening. Hyun tends to agree more and more with him, when he sees that the tenants burn a goo monster which is being friendly and trying to make contact with them, while the little boy screams that this monster saved him from the bad guys earlier. The mutant tells Eon and Seo that the government is not going to help anyone, and their real plan is to bomb as many areas of the country as possible. But next, he goes berserk and he shoots everybody in the building, saying that nobody is going to leave. Hyun tries to stop him, but the mutant pins him on the wall and tells him he knew he couldn't trust him when he killed Miss Sion, who wasn't actually Miss Sion, but the mutant who had transformed into her. Hyun is mad at him for killing his friends and a wing develops out of his body, which he uses to trap the mutant and burn him into nothingness. Hyun has lost control of himself, and Han runs near him and hugs him. Although he hurts himself in the process, he tells Hyun this is not his fault and calms him down. When Hyun wakes up, he can't remember anything, even though he mentions that his heart is hurting. Lee stares at him and remembers their pinky swear. When inside her mind, she asked him to survive for himself and for everybody else. The military is getting closer and closer to Greenholm, and the tenants know they don't have the best intentions in mind. While looking for a solution, the old man dies and gives them an exit route in the most unexpected way. The tenants go on to bury him, and while digging, they find a secret underground passage that they can use to escape. Hyun wakes up and walks near the tenants, heading outside, but Lee stops him and asks him to stay with them. Hyun takes the tenants through the passage, but Lee tells him that Hyun is not with them. Hyun says he will climb up to look for him, and he does, but Hyun does not accept to go with them because he has to stay back and earn them some time. Hyun walks out and grabs the military's attention, which results in them opening fire at him. 
while Yun stays back and listens to his favorite music in the control room, waiting for the building to collapse on him since he does not have enough time to rejoin the others underground. The tenants eventually escape, and they find their way to the exit due to one of the tenants' little dog. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on the notification, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thanks for watching.